last night when he was alongside Darren Fletcher. Uh, but obviously, Fletch, you and Mick uh, know each other well. Um, and Fletch, such a terrific player for our club, um, it wasn't he? And uh, terrific to see what he's doing now. And hopefully, he'll have a long career in whatever he decides to do post football. Why are you retiring, like? Sounds like he's still doing it. I think he's just retired. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was still doing it. Oh, that's me, doesn't it? <laughs> teams are going to be interested in me. <laughs> but yeah, a legend he was to work with as yes. well, yeah? Yeah, terrific player, great attitude, real charismatic guy, and used for the greatest games that we've played. You know, he had certain, certain games where he really came to the fore and, uh, and, and led the team through to, uh, to great victories. Score of some big goals as well, some important ones. I'm trying to remember them, there were only a few. There weren't many, there weren't many, but <laughs> no, his contribution to the team, the work ethic, everything like that, he was top, top, top guy. But as for you, Mick, I mean, it's been a, a crazy few months, hasn't it? We spoke over in Dubai yeah. um, when you just rejoined the club and, and helping Ollie out. Whenever you hear Ollie talk, he always says how important that backroom <laughs> staff is and your team, the network behind him, which is so vital. Yeah, it's very important, you know, the, the team alongside the team really you know and that's that's where success starts in my opinion you know you have you've got to have a good a good group of people who support the players and and really that's something that we're trying to develop we're trying to to work at Ollie's you know doing his best at the moment to uh, to make sure that that structure's in place and you know we've had we've had our ups and downs in in the early part when we came in to to where we are right now but but it's, it all bodes well for the future. It gives you, gives you a little insight into what's required and, and, and where we need to go. More from last night's Player Awards now. And Ollie sat down on the sofa to talk to us as well. Welcome to the Player of the Year Awards. Thank Does you very much. Does it feel a bit weird? Because, of course, you've been here as a player and now you're the main man. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does feel weird to have this job, I've, I've got to say. Because when you, it's such a great honour to, uh, to be here. You've been a player, you've been a reserve team coach, and you've, what, I've been a supporter now for so many years, and then suddenly when Ed gave us a call, I thought this is going to be for a few months, I'm going to enjoy it, and now I'm here to present uh, this, and uh, it's fantastic. Uh, we've got, this is you in 2010, nine years ago, going up on stage. I think that's, is that Jim Rosen? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Haven't aged a bit, Ollie. Do you remember? Thanks, so. Yeah, you, you're younger now. <laughs> well, remember that? I remember it, yeah. Uh, didn't have so many grey hairs then. You see what management does to you. <laughs> not just age, it's yeah. also uh, management. It's a hell of a tie knot as well. I'm glad to see it's the bow tie tonight. Not the... Can't, can't be mine. It's a very important night though, Ollie, yeah. as well. You know that from yeah. being the reserves manager, particularly for the young players coming through. For one of them to get one of the awards yeah. on offer tonight, it's so exciting. Of course it is. In a, in a, uh, this is, you always talk about teams, but tonight it's about celebrating the individuals. And there's always been outstanding talents coming through. Uh, and we'll, I'm sure whoever wins the uh, youth trophies and uh, we'll see them in the first team. Hopefully uh, some of them will be uh, on show on Sunday. I was going to ask you, because Manchester United, we pride ourselves yeah. on the youth policy here. You know, yeah. you go back tens of years. We've always had at least a youth team player in the starting level on the bench. Yeah. Is that, of course, something you're going to keep progressing with? from next season onwards? The I, youth. I love uh, young players who want to improve, who, who have no fear whatsoever. And I've, I've looked at the reserves under 18s this year. And of course, there are talents there that will stay at this club for so many years. You've got Rashi, Jesse now, Scott. You don't think about Paul as an academy product, but he was here when he was 16. So I'm sure we'll, we'll carry that um, tradition. And I just... It's nice to give them the, the opportunity to show what they can do. That's because if you don't give it, give them the chance, how can they prove it? So there'll be chances.